Welcome back to JA Inspire's Virtual Career Fair. Uh, I am your host, Dr. Troy Podell, and with me is Laura Harmon, Senior Talent Business Partner at Signet Health. Laura has worked in human resources for over 20 years, implementing best-in-class talent management solutions. She's worked across multiple industries, including consumer products, telecommunications, financial services, and most recently in the pharmaceutical industry. If you want to find out more about Laura's terrific employer, Signet Health, you can find them on the internet at signethealth.com. Laura, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. Laura, you're in the, the human resources field. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, as this is JA Inspire, uh, what inspired you to pursue human resources as a profession? Well, um, I like to think that I didn't actually pursue HR. It kind of pursued me. Um, I think what draws me and keeps me here for over 20 years is the impact on people's lives. Um, I am often the first person to hear about someone getting married or having a baby, um, people getting promoted, um, which is really exciting. Um, also on the flip side, you know, sometimes when um, our employees suffer a loss, I'm the person they come to, um, to talk to about that. Um, and then just I think overall, the impact that I'm able to have on the business, um, not just from a people standpoint, but helping leaders to make decisions that will impact the people, but will ultimately impact the bottom line. It, it sounds like you get the very best of a workplace and unfortunately, sometimes uh, the very worst as well when, when employment relationships have to be severed mm -hmm. uh, for, for suboptimal circumstances. I, I think I'm finessing that. Yeah, uh, you said it way more eloquently than I did. <laughs> well, you're very kind to say so. So I know that um, there is no typical day, quote unquote, in your role in human resources, but um, talk to the viewers a little bit about what it is that you do over the course of a day. Everything. Um, I'm a mom, so it's basically like being the work mom. Um, I collaborate with our executive team, um, our HR specialists who do everything, compensation, talent acquisition, um, talent development. Um, I work with our team members, um, frontline um, as well. Everything from change management, um, which happens every day, all day, um, especially now during this pandemic, um, employee experience. So bringing people on board, um, their, in their entire life cycle, setting goals, um, career development, um, and making sure they're engaged along the way. Um, also, when they become an alumni of the organization, making sure that transition is something that's, you know, they felt like they were treated with dignity and respect on the way out. Um, so really soup to nuts, any given day, any time of the day, I could be doing anything. Can you speak to us a little bit, Laura, about your uh, education and the role that it's played in your success professionally? So I, I did peek onto a few of the other um, earlier interviews, and I think I, my story is no different than some of the others. I actually did not study human resources. I studied biology. Um, I wanted to be an orthodontist, which clearly did not work out for me. Um, but um, I, I don't have any other higher, higher degrees or certifications, but I do have a significant amount of on-the-job experience. Um, which counts, I wouldn't say for more than education, but um, I think in this field, you have to have the balance between the academic knowledge and then the practical application of it. And so, you know, if someone was looking to get into this field, I would highly recommend a bachelor's or master's in human resources. There are several different types of certifications, internships, um, all things that may or may not have been available at the time when I started in HR. So now that they exist, I think it's fantastic. Laura, what do you love most about your job? Oh, um, that's a great question. I love to be the person, I, I, nothing gives me greater joy than knowing that um, I, I love mentoring people and watching those that I've mentored thrive and move on to do great things. I always joke that when I mentor someone, or I coach them that one day I want to work for them. Um, so I want to make sure that I give them the very best of me, the best of my experiences, the best of my network that I can tap for them. Um, so I think for me, that is the best part of my job is to watch people flourish. And Laura, what's, what's surprised you most about 
human resources as a career path? Um, I think the thing that surprised me the most um, is that you don't necessarily have to love people to love HR. I think sometimes that's a misconception. Um, I, I also think that you could absolutely come from any walk of life and do this. Um, you don't have to have, you don't necessarily have to have a specific degree. Um, but if you are more analytical, there is HRIS or HR systems that you can work on. There's compensation. If you're more people focused, you can be an HR business partner. If you are more of a behind the scenes person, you can do talent management. So there's a broad range of things you can do within HR that don't all look and walk the same. Um, but it just really depends on your personality and what you enjoy doing. It's interesting. Uh, other HR professionals that I know, um, some of them, in fact, are, are not social butterflies at all, right? They're, they're people that are a little more reserved. Uh, and so when you uh, are making those acquisitions or you're making those terminations or uh, helping shepherd someone through, there's an opportunity to, to distance yourself a little bit emotionally. Uh, but then also you get to dip your toe in and embrace it and uh, you know, enjoy the big happies, which, which is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Laura, an introvert, so I can completely attest to that. <laughs> Laura, I'm curious, working for a healthcare firm, what it's been like um, during this pandemic? Um, well, I, I'll have to say, you know, the industry that I'm in, we're tech forward, um, although we are healthcare related. Um, so for us, the transition from working in an office to working home was fairly seamless from a technology standpoint. We all had our laptops. Um, our phones, whatever we needed, um, and we were able to do that. I think the biggest piece, and I say this as an introvert who gets my energy from being alone, I do miss the social interactions that you have in the office, um, going to get lunch with someone or just, hey, how was your weekend? So I think that for me, that's been the big, the hardest part of the transition during this time. Um, but the work itself, um, I think it just keeps getting more exciting because as the world changes, our work changes. One more question for you, Laura, if I could be so bold. Um, you've got 17 year old Laura Harmon by the shoulders. <laughs> what do you tell her? Oh, so many things. Um, <laughs> um, I think I would tell her it's okay to not know what you want to be when you grow up. I say that to myself today sometimes too. So Amen. Um, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also would probably tell her, you know, it's okay to operate on your own timeline. Don't judge where you are by how, where other people are. Everyone has, everyone's journey is unique to them. Um, and I think the last thing, because it's me, I would probably tell her sophomore year of college, do not overpluck your eyebrows. You will regret it for years. <laughs> so. <laughs> that to, to trade information, I'm sure there's a picture of uh, freshman year Mohawk uh, coming around <laughs> somewhere. Um, to trade those later then. <laughs> but Laura, this has been such a delight. Thank you so much for making the time to be with us today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Folks, we'll be right back with another exciting interview on JA Inspire.